Hello everybody, Pete Lennox here. Today I will be reading Chapter 2 of Book 4 by Aleister Crowley. The title of Chapter 2 is Pranayama and its Parallel in Speech and Mantra Yoga. Now this chapter is mostly about Mantra Yoga and very little about Pranayama. Crowley does give several mantras that can be used. Uh, I'm not sure of the pronunciation of all of them. So I have given uh, put the pages where they're written down and you can decide for yourself if you want to use them. He does give an interesting technique for using the mantra that some may find interesting. Well, enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll be back later. Thanks. Hello everybody. This is Pete Lennox. Today I will be reading you chapter two of the book four by Aleister Crowley. The name of this chapter is Pranayama and its parallel in speech, Mantra Yoga. The connection between breath and mind will be fully discussed in speaking of the magic sword, but it may be useful to premise a few details of a practical character. You may consult various Hindu manuals and the writings of Quang Tzu for various notable theories as to method and result. But in this skeptical system, one had better content oneself with statements which are not worth the trouble of doubting. The ultimate idea of meditation being to still the mind, it may be considered a useful preliminary to still consciousness of all the functions of the body. This has been dealt with in the chapter on asana. One may however mention that some yogis carry it to the point of trying to stop the beating of the heart. Whether this be desirable or no, it would be useless to the beginner, so he will endeavor to make the breathing very slow and very regular. The rules for this practice are given in Lieber CCBI. The best way to time the breathing, once some little skill has been acquired with a watch to bear witness, is by the use of a mantra. The mantra acts on the thoughts very much as pranayama does upon the breath. The thought is bound down to a recurring cycle. Any intruding thoughts are thrown off by the mantra, just as pieces of putty would be from a flywheel. And the swifter the wheel, the more difficult would it be for anything to stick. This is the proper way to practice a mantra. Utter it as loudly and slowly as possible ten times, then not quite so loudly, and a very little faster ten times more. Continue this process until there is nothing but a rapid movement of the lips. This movement should be continued with increased velocity and diminishing intensity until the mental muttering completely absorbs the physical. The student is by this time absolutely still with the mantra racing in his brain. He should, however, continue to speed it up until he reaches his limit, at which he should continue for as long as possible and then cease the practice by reversing the process above described. Any sentence may be used as a mantra, and possibly the Hindus are correct in thinking that there is a particular sentence best suited to any particular man. Some men find the liquid mantras of the Quran slide too easily, so that it would be possible to continue another train of thought without disturbing the mantra. One is supposed while saying the mantra to meditate upon its meaning. This suggests that the student might construct for himself a mantra which would represent the universe in sound as the pentacle should do in form. Occasionally a mantra may be given, an example, heard in some unexplained manner during meditation. One man, for example, used the words, and strive to see everything the will of God. To another, while engaged in killing thoughts, came the words, and push it down, apparently referring to the action of the inhibitory centers which he was using. By keeping on with this, he got his result. The ideal mantra should be rhythmical. One might even say musical, but there should be sufficient emphasis on some syllable to assist the faculty of attention. The best mantras are of medium length, so far as the beginner is concerned. If the mantra is too long, one is apt to forget it, unless one practices very hard for a great length of time. On the other hand, mantras of a single syllable, such as Aum, are rather jerky. The rhythmical idea is lost. Here are a few useful mantras. Om, Om, Tata Sata Om. This mantra is purely spontaneous. Om, Mani Padme Hum. Om, Shivaya Vashi Allah. Hua Alua Alazi Laiha. Here are some longer ones. The famous Gayatra. Om ta 
Tathasavatir Varanyam Bargo Devasaya Demahi Dio Yo Na Pradayata Hua Ala Achad Ala Usad This mantra is the holiest of all that are or can be. It is from the steel of resealing. A Kadua Tuf Urbu Bia Shafu Dudu Nur Af Anataru. Such are enough for selection. There are many other mantras. Shri Sabapatmi Swami gives a particular one for each of the chakras. But let the student select one mantra and master it thoroughly. You have not even begun to master a mantra until it continues unbroken through sleep. This is much easier than it sounds. Some schools advocate practicing a mantra with the aid of instrumental music and dancing. Certainly very remarkable effects are obtained in the way of magical powers. Whether great spiritual results are equally common is a doubtful point. Persons wishing to study them may remember that the Sahara Desert is within three days of London, and no doubt the city Ayaswa would be glad to accept pupils. This discussion of the parallel science of mantra yoga has led us far indeed from the subject of pranayama is notably useful in quieting the emotions and appetites. And whether by reason of the mechanical pressure which it asserts or by the thorough combustion which it assures in the lungs, it seems to be admirable from the standpoint of health. Digestive troubles, in particular, are very easy to remove in this way. It purifies both the body and the lower functions of the mind, and should be practiced certainly never less than one hour daily by the serious student. Four hours is a better period, a golden mean. Sixteen hours is too much for most people. The end of chapter two. Thanks for listening, everybody. This is Pete Lennox, and I want you to uh, subscribe and like. And I'll be sending out some more uh, chapters later. Thanks. Bye.